Hey, good afternoon. It's 107 p.m. It is December 17th and it is, I believe it's Thursday. Let me just make sure that it's Thursday. Yes, it is Thursday. So it is raining outside and I actually like that. It's nice every once in a while. I mean, I prefer sunlight in a bright sunny days, but every once in a while we have to have rain. And so since I'm in the house and not really going anywhere, I, I'm fine with it. It's nice. I like hearing the pitter patter on the rooftop. It's 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 livable. So anyway, I wanted to come in here and make this video and talk a little bit about targeting. So this video is for targeted individuals specifically, not so much for perps and all those other weirdos, but um, you know, I know that there's a lot of targets, targeted individuals out there who experience um what some people would call like high level targeting and my targeting is what I'm calling this video, not quite the matrix. Um, meaning that I have more of a lower level targeting, even though it is extreme and it is, um, devastating and it is, um, frightening, terrifying and everything else because no one likes to have that feeling that somebody who they don't want in their life or whatever is attaching themselves to you or bullying you or whatever. But um, some targeted individuals talk about experiencing certain things that I have not experienced in my targeting. And I will say that most targeted, targeted individuals experience pretty much the same thing when it comes to dealing with, um, you know, people who are kind of um, rude, um, people who have been programmed to act a certain way or say certain things or do certain things. So you encounter um, a lot of negative people when you're dealing with targeting. Now, I have to say things have gotten a lot better, but I'm just saying as in general, this is something that every target experiences, but not every target experiences some of the things that some of these other targets are talking about. And please, you know, do not think that I am doubting you or that I'm belittling you or that I, I am accusing you of being crazy because that's not the case at all. OK, um, for example, there are some targets who um, when I first realized I was a targeted individual, I watched a lot of videos on the subject because, you know, you want to relate to other people who what's going on and, and this other sort of stuff. So there was a lot of people who talked about dealing with, um, you know, implanted thoughts implanted dreams, um, subliminal messages coming into their mind, um, electronic energy weapons being used on them. And I can't relate to those things because that is not a part of my targeting. Okay. I've never experienced anything like that. And if they had those access to those sort of things, I have never been affected by any electronic energy weapons or implanted thoughts or anything like that. Okay. Um, but, you know, the, the biggest issue when I first saw these videos, the first thing that went through my mind is, is that um, I, I don't like to doubt people because in, in the world that we live in today, anything is possible. OK, I do believe that, um, you know, when I looked up electronic energy weapons, I do understand that this is something these are these are actual um, devices, tools, weapons or whatever that are used by military okay um, i believe here in this country as well as in other countries they use this as a, a weapon of war on whoever and i don't believe that i well i, I i'm saying is anything's possible okay um I, I i don't know laws relating to electronic energy weapons because i'm not familiar with that also um i don't believe that something like that would be in the hands of the general public like they don't sell them at walmart you can't go to a specialty specialty store um, to purchase these sort of things but i'm not saying that they don't exist because i'm aware that there is such a thing called the dark web okay and i have never accessed the dark web myself but i have talked to people who have and um, not necessarily um, accessed it themselves but who people who seem to have knowledge of the dark web and um, I have uh, seen videos on what actually takes place on the dark web. I know that um, there's a lot of trafficking that goes on in the dark web. And I'm not just talking about um, trafficking that I experienced. I'm talking about heavy kinds of trafficking where people are actually sold on the web, okay, through these illegal deals. And how they handle that, I don't know. But 
I know that those things do exist. I do know that there's um, illegal drug trades that occur on the dark web. You can act, you can get access to any street drug you want to on the dark web. You can actually get um, illegal firearms on the dark web. Anything that you can imagine they sell on the dark web. And I don't, I wouldn't rule out electronic energy weapons. Now, I don't believe that whoever manufactures these <laughs> these electronic energy weapons, I do not believe they're selling them to the general public. They are probably meant specifically for war type um, attacks or whatever. But that doesn't mean that people cannot construct these things illegally or you know, maybe for, you know, that kind of stuff could happen. So if they do have access to them, they probably purchase them through those means, okay? If they do exist. Um, when you're a target an individual, I mean, I'm a person who really does believe in talking about your story because what you're dealing with is a serious injustice and you have to speak up for yourself. The reason why you're in isolation is because they don't want you around other people and they uh, basically, the, the life that you're living is basically in a bubble that they create for you. So if they say that, you know, you're somebody who is trying to start religious war or tension, um, then that's what people are going to believe because they're the only ones who are talking. They're the only ones who have a voice. They're the only ones who are making decisions right down to like, you know, basically what you eat, and what you wear. This is how obsessive and, and controlling these people are. So you don't have a voice. You don't have the ability to stand in and stand, uh, stand up for yourself and clarify issues, okay? So the only means that you have a communication is you could make flyers and pass them around talking about what you're experiencing, or you could um, make videos. And I'm a big believer in making videos, okay? Um, and, and you should not be afraid to show your face or identify, use your name, all of that stuff, okay? Because believe me, they're using your name and they're throwing it all out there. So um, I'm a believer in that, okay? And then also I, I do suggest if you make videos of the targeted individual to send them to your perps, meaning your ex-family members, your family members, uh, co-workers, ex-co-workers, whatever, okay? Because like I said, you're not going to be able to stand in and speak for yourself, okay? But one thing that I don't suggest, if you are a targeted individual and I am not in any way saying that you're lying or that you're making up these stories relating to electronic energy weapons or that somebody is implanting negative thoughts in your brain. I'm not saying that those things are not happening. I'm just saying is if you're going to talk about your experience, your experiences, talk about things that can be verified, things that can be, um, that has somewhat of a paper trail, something that has you know, like the experiences that you've had. Like, for example, in my case, um, I know that I went from job to job and I know that um, I've had to deal with pretty rude people and then the events that, uh, that led up to leaving those particular companies, okay? So those things can be verified because they know that you worked there. They know that you left there. They know the time span that you were there. You know what this person said, that this person did, blah, 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 blah. These are things that you, you should stick with. Now, the reason why I don't really necessarily, I don't necessarily um, throw bullshit or, or, or scoff at these people who are experiencing um, issues relating to um, uh, their electronic energy weapons and they're, they, some people call, I think it's called voice to skull type thing. Um, the reason why I'm not calling bullshit on it completely is because I am aware that we do have a sixth sense, okay? But what happens on with the sixth sense, okay, cannot be proven in a court of law, okay? So you only want to talk about your experiences. Like, for example, I can talk about years and years and years of going to jobs, getting mobbed out of those jobs. And then when I looked for other jobs, then I was getting the runaround and then the same conversations were being brought up in front of me, blah, 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 blah. These are the things that you can talk about that you should express and, 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 and mention in your videos, okay? Because if by mere chance that this ends up going to court, you have proof and you have something that is verifiable, okay? Because you can't talk about your feelings, you can't talk about what you're sensing, you can't, that stuff is not going to be taken seriously in the court of law, okay? Unless you have proof 
that somebody hits you with the energetic energy they're off. And some people say they've been burned by them, actually. And if you have burns and you can remember seeing this person direct this energy weapon to you, at you while you got burned okay then you may you might have a case okay but just because you 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 can't say that you suspect somebody's using them or whatever now i want to talk about what goes on in the human mind especially when you're dealing with targeting and when you're dealing with bullies and people who have bad intentions for you and in, in a large number okay everybody okay has a sixth sense sometimes it takes a while for these things to be opened Okay, um, some people experience it in, in, in just moments in their lifetime, not con consistently like I do, but some people have it like when something uh, terrible happens. Okay, like maybe a woman is sitting in her house. I've heard stories like this a lot, and I'm sure other people have, where she's sitting at her house and her kid's at school, and she gets this feeling that something's wrong with her kid. Okay, and then she calls the school or the school calls her and something happened and she knew it already because you have this connection to a person and you feel things. You're empathetic to that person. So there's a feeling there. Um, I know that when uh, my father passed away, I, I received some sort of message or knowing that something happened. Um, and these kind of things happen a lot. Okay, and just like, for example, some of these issues where like when we were kids we would um want to play head games with people so we would stand across the the um playground and start staring at that person you know just staring at them and they would be turned around and we're like okay eventually they're gonna they're gonna feel that we're looking at them and they're gonna turn around okay you've, you've heard that expression well you know i felt like someone was watching me that sort of thing it, because there is a certain amount of psychic ability or intuition that people have okay and sometimes it happens in on a daily basis and then sometimes like i said it happens when um something bad is going to happen i know i had a co-worker who said her daughter had a dream about the the issue of 9 11 the, the day that it happened okay she had a dream before and it had something to do with the airplane or whatever and then she woke up and because this was something that she felt a connection to our country so she felt like in tune with this you know, like if this is her country and, and when that happened it was like wow because she that that's a strong love of her country just like the strong love of um uh, a mother and her child or whatever okay this, these are things you feel okay but like i said whether we feel them or not they're not going to hold up in a court of law they're just not okay <laughs> so um those aren't the best things to be bringing up and like i said i'm not poo-pooing you know anybody's claims of being victims of electronic energy weapons i would never scoff at that i'm sure you can buy like i said you could probably buy anything on the dark web anything okay but it's best just to stick to things that actually occurred I'm not saying they didn't occur i'm just saying is it's best to stick with things that you can uh, remember that you experienced that you have proof of like you worked a certain place you work you lived at a certain place like some people have lamp have landlords that barge into their place or, or, or go leave when they come into your house when you're not there those sort of things okay those are the things you want to think about or and you want to talk about okay in, in in your videos or when you're explaining these sort of things um now i know that when i was starting to realize that something was not quite right and i already i always knew something was not quite right but i didn't have the ability to hone in as to who was involved in my targeting and all this other stuff so i remember there were certain days that i would um be at home like on saturdays particularly saturdays i used to call them deliberation days because i felt this feeling that i and the, the feeling and not only was it clear clairvoyant it was clairaudient meaning that it was something that I felt like people were walking over me and I could hear footsteps and I could hear voices like people talking and I got this feeling that people were deciding my fate for me okay and this happened like a lot like I would say 2014 through 2016 17 somewhere around there this was like I could feel it heavily okay and um and this is not unusual some people don't understand these sort of things but what i was trying to perceive at the time was that people really really were indeed doing that and i felt um because it was so intense like you have multiple people who are like 
evil towards you. It's it's a way that we we have it's something that we have inside of ourselves that protects us. Okay, it's 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 alerting you to certain dangers. And yes, I do believe that there are these issues. Like if if you know somebody hates you, it's not unlikely that you're going to have a dream about that person. It's not unlikely that if you experience all kinds of weird covert messages that get relayed to you, whether that be somebody rolling their eyes when they're talking to you or um, somebody, you know, saying a snide remark or whatever. And then when you go to bed, it is not unusual for people to have bad dreams about it because, because your mind's trying to decipher what exactly did that mean? Why, why is all this going on? So these things do occur. Okay. They do occur. And, and it's something that, you know, um, um, has been talked about throughout history. But when we are talking about what you can use as proof or when you're trying to get the attention of your perps and, or you're trying to get your message out based like for um, activism or whatever, it's best to stick with the everyday mundane things that don't sound so far-fetched to the majority of people. And that, the, I remember watching some of these videos and I always try to figure out how things are gonna look towards to other people's perspective, okay? Because I know that some of the target individual videos that I had watched in the past, I kept thinking, I'm not doubting this person, but to the majority of people, th what this person is saying, he's gonna sound like one of those tinfoil hat wearing people and people are not gonna believe him, okay? but. They will believe and they cannot deny the fact that, you know, you may have been harassed in your apartment complex. You may have been harassed on the job. You worked at this particular job, right? It's the same thing. I know just about every targeted individual experiences workplace mobbings. I know I, I have, right? And so really all I can pull on really is from my own experience. But I worked these places. This particular person did indeed say this. When I brought this up, this is what their reaction was. When they said this, 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 and this, it all pertained to things that they shouldn't have said, done, or whatever. And these are the things that you want to focus on. You know, try to stay out <laughs> of what I call the matrix. Okay, it's not that I, I, you know, when I say the Matrix, the people in the targeted individual community, they use movies like the, the Matrix a lot to try to explain what they're going through, um, or other some other science fiction movie or whatever to try to explain what they're going to through. And so, um, like I said, I would never scoff at anybody who is experiencing these things. And do I believe that they're experiencing sensations? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, but do I think that they should talk about it when they're bringing up their cases? No, they don't. They shouldn't. I don't believe that they should. And, you know, um, mainly because it does sound far-fetched. Okay. It does sound far-fetched. And, um, but I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm not. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. Because like I said, you know, you can buy anything on you can buy anything on the deep dark web if you want to. Um, so, you know, it, but I will say, you know, that if there somebody does have electronic energy weapons, they have access to those things, chances are it's illegal for them to own it. It would be illegal for them to own it, but like that doesn't mean they can't own it because people have all kinds of things like unregistered firearms and stuff like that that they can purchase through the deep dark web, you know. So, uh, but... Like I said, when you're trying to get the attention of perps, um, like I, I recommended, you know, making videos talking about your situation. Talk about your situation that you remember. Go back to the very beginning when you started noticing that something wasn't right. And it's going to take you a while to make all these videos because it took me five years and over a thousand videos to start putting all this together, right? But it, 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 it will come together. Because you start talking about, okay, I was here, this happened, this happened, then I ended up moving because this person did this and this and this and this and this and this and this, and this blah, 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 blah. That happened on the physical plane, <laughs> not talking about what happens on the, the spiritual plane. Because that's basically what you're doing. And when you talk about things relating to religion or things that happen or spiritual issues in the court of law, they, they don't hold up. They, they just don't. So anyway. I just wanted to come on here and make this video really quick. Um, I, it's one of my videos that I'm not, you know, bashing my previous perps or anything. I am doing everything I can to forget these people and move on with my life. I am trying everything I can. Um, but, you know, it gets hard sometimes because, you know, it's like I really 
want to be out and doing different things, meaning like, well, you can't really do much nowadays anyway. But yeah, I mean, I'd like to go back to work. I want my life to return to somewhat normal and I want to heal from this. You know, I want to heal. And, um, you know, and it's very frustrating for me because, you know, when you deal with like job interviews or whatever, you, you get kind of queasy and you get kind of um, because of the, the constant trauma but you that you've experienced, but you pull yourself together and you go forward anyway, you know, and this is what life is about. It's like, you know, um, putting yourself back to where you need to be and moving forward and trying your hardest to not let it affect you. And it will affect me for a very long time because like I said, you know, when you've been in a situation for five something years and people who, who you know good and well had something to do with it and they're hearing you use words that should, should cause some sort of action reaction, you're basically saying trauma. You're basically saying, you know, I'm, I'm terrified. I'm not comfortable with this. I don't like this. I don't like this. And they continue to do it. You literally feel like somebody, um, just did the most heinous crime to you. And, it, and it's, that's a very hard thing to deal with. Just like the people who deal with post-traumatic stress disorder in a uh, warlike environment. And it is kind of like a war because you're trying to survive among people who are hurting you continuously. Okay. In the most important aspects of your life, you know, like having a job and working and stuff like that. And you, your, your life feels threatened. Okay. So it, it's something that um, will, probably I'll live with for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? Because that, that's a terrifying thing that somebody would do that, okay, to you. So anyway, um, moving on, I just wanted to make this video for targeted individuals. I'm going to be doing more videos specifically for targeted individuals and only about targeted individuals as we go on. If you have any questions you'd like to ask me, go ahead and put them in the comment box and I will be um, returning um, messages. If you have any need for suggestions, I'm, I would love to talk about your issues. Um, so just go ahead and drop it, drop me a line. Have a great day. Bye-bye.